Hi, my name's Dave Page. I'm a member of the CTO team Enterprise DB and of the PostgreSQL core team. In this short video, we'll look at whether you should use Kerberos or LDAP when authenticating your Postgres users. In enterprise Postgres deployments, typically users will use one of the following. Either LDAP, which is a, also known as Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, which is a, an open and cross-platform directory service which provides both authentication and information about users and computers, typically. The other alternative that people often use is Kerberos, which is purely an authentication service. It provides secure services and utilizes tickets to identify principles, that is, users and services. Now, LDAP and Kerberos are often used together to provide secure authentication with directory services together. You've probably most often seen this in Microsoft's Active Directory. So what's the practical difference for authentication purposes? Why should we choose one over the other? Well, if we look at how LDAP works, the client computer sends a username and password to the PostgreSQL database or any other service. It may not be Postgres. It, it could be pretty much anything that uses authentication. Postgres then forwards that username and password to the LDAP server, and the LDAP server will respond saying whether that user is properly authenticated or not. In other words, whether access is granted or denied. With Kerberos, things are slightly different. The username and password sent to the Kerberos KDC, or Key Distribution Center, and that will return to the client computer a ticket which the client computer then uses to identify the user with the other services, such as Postgres. So instead of sending the username and password to the Postgres service, the client will then send the Kerberos ticket to Postgres. And that proves who this user is. Now it's worth noting, Kerberos is somewhat more complicated than this, and this is a, a simplified diagram. So what's the key difference here? Well, specifically, it's who has access to the credentials or what has access to the credentials. In the case of LDAP, the client knows the user credentials because the users type them in. The Postgres server knows them because the client sends them to the Postgres server. And the LDAP server knows them because the Postgres server forwarded them to the LDAP server to, to verify the user's identity. In the case of Kerberos, only the client and the ticket granting server, or KDC, have any idea of what the user's credentials are. And again, as I mentioned, this applies to any service, not just Postgres. So what can we conclude from this? Well, as we all know, all software has bugs and all software potentially can be an attack vector. We want to expose user credentials as little as possible this allows us to minimize the potential attack surface and therefore minimize the risk of intrusion into our systems. So use Kerberos instead of LDAP for authentication wherever possible. It eliminates the software, in this case Postgres, from ever seeing those user credentials. And it's one less way that a, an attacker could attempt to gain credentials from your users. Thank you.